problem 5.30 or 6.28 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. Steam enters a nozzle at 400 Celsius and 800 kilopascals with a velocity of 10 meters per second. It also leaves at 300 Celsius and 200 kilopascals while losing heat at a rate of 25 kilowatts. For the inlet area, we have 800 centimeters square. We need to determine the velocity and the volume flow rate of the steam at the exit of the nozzle. In order to start this problem, we're going to do a balance of energy and we're going to do it in terms of rate of energies. So we have the rate of energy entering the system minus the rate of energy leaving the system is equal to the change of energy change in the system. Since the system is steady, this quantity is equal to zero. Therefore, the rate of energy going in is equal to the rate of energy leaving. For this problem, we're going to use the labels for one for the inlet and two for the outlet. The amount of uh, rate of energy going in is simply the addition of enthalpy, potential energy, and kinetic energy times the mass flow rate. In this case, we have the nozzle to be horizontal, therefore the position has not changed, therefore there is no change in potential energy. Therefore, the amount of energy going in is simply mass flow rate, enthalpy at the inlet, plus kinetic energy at the inlet, and that is equal to the mass flow rate, enthalpy at the exit, kinetic energy at the exit, plus we also have a rate of heat lost by the nozzle, so that is simply Q dot. Now we're going to go to the tables to find out the value for H1 and H2. Then we go, first we need to determine what phase do we have at the inlet. We go to the pressure of 800 kilopascals. We see that the saturated uh, temperature is equal to 170. The working temperature is 400 Celsius, which means that the fluid that we have is going to be a superheated vapor. And for that, we're going to go to table A6. So we go to table X6, we have a pressure of uh, 0.8 megapascals, which is 800 kilopascals. And then we go to the temperature of 400. And for that, we're going to need the value of uh, specific volume, which is uh, 0.38429. And then we're gonna need the value for enthalpy, which is uh, 3267.67. We need to do the same process for the exit. So we're going to go back to table A5. And in this case, we have a temperature um, a pressure of 200 kilopascals. And in this case, the saturated temperature is 120.21. And the working uh, temperature we have is 300 Celsius. Once again, the fluid is a um, superheated vapor. So we go back to table A6. And we go to uh, 0.2 megapascals, which is 200 kilopascals. And we go to the working uh, temperature, which is 300 Celsius. Once again, the value that we are going to use for a specific volume is going to be 1.31623. And for the enthalpy, we have uh, 3072.1. These are the values for a specific volume and for enthalpy found in the tables, both for the inlet and the outlet. Now what we need to do is calculate the mass flow rate. The mass flow rate is simply the amount of density, uh, velocity, and cross-sectional area. We have a specific volume rather than density, so this is simply velocity area divided by a specific volume. The quantities that we have, we have the velocity and the cross-sectional area uh, for the inlet, so we're gonna use, uh, calculate the mass flow rate using those values. We got the velocity, um, at the inlet to be 10 meters per second. The cross-sectional area it was given to be 800 centimeters square. And then we do the conversion. We said 100 centimeters square is equal to one meter square. And then we divide this by the value that we have for this specific volume at the entrance, which is equal to 0.31623. 
0.38429 meter cubed uh, per kilogram. And then we find that the mass flow rate is equal to 2.082. And then now let's see the units. Centimeter square cancels with centimeter square. Then we got meter and meter square becomes meter cubed divided by meter cubed. They cancel out. And then we're left with kilograms per second, which are the units for mass flow rate. Now that we have the value of the mass flow rate, and we also have the enthalpy at the entrance and at the exit, and the velocity at the entrance, and the rate of heat uh, leaving the nozzle, we could find the velocity leaving. And if we do a little bit of algebra, we find that the value exiting the nozzle is equal to 606 meters per second. And then now we need to find what is the volume flow rate. The volume flow rate is simply going to be the multiplication of the mass flow rate um, times the specific volume exiting the nozzle. The mass flow rate we found it to be 2.082 kilograms per second. And we have that the mass, flow, uh, the specific volume was 1.31625 meter cube per kilogram, cancel and cancel. Notice that we have a volume flow rate of 2.74 meter cubed per second. Notice that in this nozzle, the steam has different value of a specific volume at the entrance and the exit, therefore is a compressible uh, fluid. We also see that the velocity significantly increases from 10 meters per second to 606 meters per second which proves the point of a nozzle of increasing the value of the kinetic energy in the system.